What is going on, everyone? Tim from Tearphone Orbital. This seems to be a shadow foil props heavy kind of a day for me. This is the third video that I'm recording that is for a hilt that was uh, designed by Shadow Foil Props and SP Sabres, right? So, so this is the Blind Spectre from Shadow Foil Props and SP Sabres. I have talked at length about how much I love this hilt. I was always a fan of Kanan's hilt. This particular one, I knew that I wanted to have one because of the, in my opinion, I, I really like the matte color of this hilt. I like the, I think that the, the green around the grip, they nailed the color of that. So I, I'm just, I, I really, really love this hilt, right? I wanted to do a master chassis for this hilt. I actually, I don't think I'm going to call it a master chassis. This is a hybrid uh, metal chassis. Right. I mean, that's it's that's really all it is. It's just a chassis with a brass board cover and a brass battery cover and some brass accents. That's really all it is. I, I've been trying to do more chassis like this. Uh, and of course, when room and space allows for it, uh, I like to add some fancy parts. I mean, really, all it is is a brass board cover and a brass battery cover and some brass accents. That's really all it is. Uh, the whole chassis is not done out of metal. It's just some accent parts. But I'm really, really happy with how it came out, uh, and I'm happy with how the chassis looks. So let's come into Fusion and talk a little bit about the chassis, and then we'll come up top. Okay, so here we are in Fusion. Thanks for tagging along. Here is the chassis that I designed for this hilt, right? So we've got one single resin core, if you will. The entire chassis is removable, okay? Uh, there's a kill switch in here. This is a tilted profi board setup. So the board is wired up and slid down this tray. And there is a board cover here as well. Battery tray is down here. And I did do a board or a battery cover in brass for that as well. All of these brass pieces are held in place with neodymium magnets, uh, just random vents looking things that, that just kind of uh, are epoxied in place onto the chassis itself. Gravely work along the back side of the chassis and just some ridges and squares along the battery tray, right? And that's it. Uh, I, I've been meaning to spread my wings a little bit more and do a lot more uh, hybrid chassis like this with brass parts. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the result, right? And that's it. So this is a one, like a single all-in-one chassis, the PCB emitter is up top here. This channel uh, helps to uh, keep the chassis clocked. There is a spring-loaded mechanism in the upper part of the hilt that lets you remove the Suba and the, the emitter. Uh, so that is how I clock the chassis. This uh, indentation in here is for the PCB that was provided with the hilt by Shadow Foil, right? And that's it. So let's come up top. Okay, so here we are. This is the Blind Spectre from Shadow Foil Props and SB Saber. So here is the regular chassis core, right, without the uh, brass parts on it. I did a pass of pewter rub and buff on this guy and then sealed it. 28 millimeter speaker from Smuggler's Outpost down there. And that's it. So here is that uh, switch PCB uh, helper board uh, that's provided with the hilt. There is an onboard red and an onboard green LED that give us some shine through in the red arrows or in the in the arrows on the control box, right? So let's let's use this guy, okay? So, so to use the hilt, spring side is your negative. Put your battery in the battery tray. So there are those two lit LEDs. I'm going to put the battery cover on. Battery cover is in brass. Board cover is in brass as well. I'm really really happy with how this came out. Uh, I of course weathered the brass, right? Make it look a little bit more used. All right. So once we get our battery in, I line up this channel with this silver switch up top, line it up with the control box, slide my chassis all the way in. Oops, oh, okay. Thread my pommel on. Traitor! Whoops. And then we're ready to go. I am Juhani. So 
So another cool design feature of this particular hilt is that the emitter is removable. Uh, you do need to, there's some very small flathead screws here along each side uh, of the pins. You wanna unscrew those. So that, those help to secure this upper section in place. Otherwise it will rattle a little bit. It is locked in place with this switch, uh, but I like that this was designed into the hilt, these two screws, so you can help uh, secure that so it's not wobbly, right? We've seen that with some other Canaan hilts. So once you unscrew those, you just depress that, de depress that silver button and the Suba comes off and you can still use it. Man, this is such a good sounding hilt. So I'm gonna screw these back in because I wanna put a blade in this. Okay, all right, let's come down to the bottom. So yeah, big, so yeah, big fan of this hilt. I love the color, I love the finish. It sounds really, really good. Basey. Sounds so good. All right, let's put a blade in it. Okay, seven eighths inch blade holder. Love it. A nice deep blade holder as well, right? So there are two set screws in the back here to help secure that blade in place. And here we go. It's very comfortable to swing around. Like it's very nice hilt. Luckily I, luckily I have a short 7 8 inch demo blade so I'm not hitting my fan. Uh, this is, so, uh, that's enough. And of course we do get some shine through in those arrows on the control box. This is another important aspect of this lightsaber design. Personally to me, I wanna see shine through in that control box. I wanna be able to re remove the emitter. Uh, it's just such a great hilt. I mean, this, so this one is now, you know, one of my daily drivers. I mean, I, I think that this hilt is, is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so I wanted to design a chassis that was equally as nice uh, for the hilt. So I'm pretty happy with the result, okay? So if anyone has any questions about this particular install, please do not be a stranger. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.